beginning of the year obviously started out normal. Then we started to hear a little bit about this coronavirus. And I can remember some of the first stories we did about it and kind of saying, oh, coronavirus, never heard of that. And some growing fears about a potentially deadly virus, a pneumonia outbreak caused by a new strain of coronavirus. And you just would hear little snippets and then gradually it sort of trickled in and then boom, it was like overnight, our entire way of life started to change. Think about where we were in January we're covering the impeachment of Donald Trump and everybody thought that was the story of the year that would carry us into the election. We had no idea. We had no idea what was coming, what was brewing. I was with the governor in his reception room in the state house where he announced that basically he wanted everyone to stay home. Declaring a state of emergency. That was stunning. We were seeing the entire government, the entire community, all of our economy being shut down, people being told to stay at home. It was really then that I realized that this was something like we had never seen before. Is every time we're on the news and we're talking about the coronavirus and the spread, how many people died overnight, you know, at some point you stop and think, these aren't just numbers. Um, every one of them represents a family that's just been torn apart or devastated by this virus. And we've watched it spread in the last, you know, nine to 12 months. It's, it's just been incredible. Um, nothing that, you know, we could ever have thought of. And it's something that we're probably going to tell our grandkids and great grandkids about, or at least they're going to ask about this time. They're going to say, what was 2020 like? Everything changed. People who had jobs that they could count on no longer had that guaranteed income and they didn't know how they were going to pay rent. And everything we knew to be constant was no more. We are living through a pandemic. Like, this is stuff you read about in a history book. You don't expect to live it. It's heartbreaking to walk up the street and see little coffee places where people made a go of it, and now they're closed and never coming back. And you wonder where they are and how they're doing. Uh, there are a lot of people that are hurting as a result of what's happened with this pandemic entire society and country and world has had to change.